going on guys, Cells here, back into another video. Today I'll be showing you how to enable virtualization technology uh, to make any virtual machine work proper. So if I load up VirtualBox, Oracle VM VirtualBox, I have Kali Linux. Um, you could also see one of my tutorials on how to download Kali Linux. So I'm just going to click on Kali Linux and go to settings. And it says version. Um, let me just switch to software here, so it's just like a bit glitched here. Um, it only shows 32-bit um, versions. So you want to select Debian because that is the closest one to Kali Linux. Debian. That is a 32-bit, and mine's is a 64-bit based processor. To check how to check what processor uh, your PC is. Go into your settings, system, and go into about, and you'll see system type, 64-bit operating system. So right there you can see mine was a 64-bit operating system, and if I choose Debian 32-bit, it's not good for my PC, and I'll be showing you how to fix that. And also uh, another error. Is that I cannot change any of these, it's grayed out as you can see. So, invalid settings detected, and I'll be showing you how to fix that as well. So, you want to turn on your PC if you're watching this on a phone, turn on your PC, and once it's turned on, click on restart. If you don't know what um, your boot key is, because you need to go into your BIOS boot key. Uh, I would recommend going into a Ford and recording this. So it's loading. And as you can see there, press the escape key for the startup menu. It's located on your uh, logo of the PC's company. Mine says HP. I have a HP Elite 8000, um, small factor form. So now I know my escape key is my startup menu. I'm just going to restart it one more time and if you still don't know what um, your startup menu key is just keep on restarting until you can see it if you recorded it with the phone just slowly look in your look in that clip and see it so now let's um, unlock it We're in here, we just need everything to load up. Right click, refresh, go into Windows, restart it again. Now I know it's my escape key, so it's right here, and I'm just going to spam it. Now it's booting up. There. I press my escape key. I've got my startup menus. I've got continue startup, which you don't want to do. You need to use your arrow keys here, arrow keys, and enter button to navigate. So if you have the same model as me, a HP eight, Elite 8000 small factor form, just follow my steps. If you don't, it's some. It's just close to this. You just need to go into your BIOS startup or startup menu, go into your computer setup, and you want to go to security, go into system security, click on enter. As you can see, virtualization technology, VTX, is disabled. Enable that and also enable virtualization technology directed I slash zero VTD. Use your arrow keys to navigate, like these, so let's make sure it's enabled, and F10 to accept it, just going to click F10, if you don't find, if you don't find yours in security, it should be somewhere here, mine was in security for my PC, which I had before this, and this PC, once you've done that, you have to go save changes and exit. 
enter. Are you sure you want to save changes and exit? Click on yes, enter. Load it up. Let it boot. It should take a bit long because you just change your settings of your system. So it's just reading all the settings that you have changed. It's booted now. You want to make sure everything loads. Right click, refresh. Now if I go into my virtual box or virtual machine. Click on any of the operating system, go into Kali Linux, go into settings. And as you can see, there is 32 bits, 64 bits for each thing. So there's Oracle 32 bit, Oracle 64 bit. There's Gen 2 32 bit and Gen 2 64 bit. So you have to go into Debian 64 bit if you have a 64 bit based processor. If you have a 32 bit, click on 32 bit. Now, if I change any of my settings, I go into processor. As you can see, it's not blacked out. I could change it. It's 3, and that setting, that invalid settings error isn't here anymore. So I could just click OK and change my settings. And Oracle VM will be normal. No crashes will happen. Everything will work normal. Your virtual desktops will also work normal and everything will be fine. So hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you need. Like the video if you liked it. Comment down below if you have any other problems with your PC. I'll make a tutorial. And also if you have anything with, if you have a problem with any um, applications or softwares. And also you could uh, comment down below what you want me to do next. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.